In the previous video, we learned how to load a module using the require function. By requiring a module, we are basically asking V8 to execute the code in that module. Although this works fine, the right way to create and reuse a block of code is to expose certain functionality that can be consumed by external files or apps. We can do that using the special module.exports object that is always readily available in Node.js. Here's how it works. In add.js, instead of calling add and logging the sum value, we're going to export the add function from this module. For that, we assign add function to the module.exports object. So module.exports is equal to add. Now what is special about this object? Well, the value of this object is what the require function returns for the corresponding module. This allows us to store add in a constant. So const add is equal to require dot slash add. In index.js again, we can now type const sum is equal to add 1 comma 2 and console log sum. In the terminal, run the code using node index and we see the message as well as 3 logged in the console. But now that we are exposing the add function and loading it up in index.js, we can call the add function any number of times as it is a reusable block of code. So const sum2 is equal to add 2 comma 3 and console log sum2. Run the code and we see 5 as well. Now one point you should make note of is that when we capture the value of module.exports using the require function, the constant name can be anything. It doesn't have to be add. I can change this to add function and update the function calls as well. Rerun node index and we see the same result. The return value doesn't have to be the same as the exported value. This is called a default export where you can refer to the returned value using any name. But this is pretty much the idea behind modules in Node.js. You can create new functionality, such as the add function, expose it using the special module.exports object, import it in a different file using the require function, and use it as many times as you want to. This is the common JS format for exporting and importing functionality that Node.js adheres to. Although this is pretty much what you should know to proceed, there are a few more concepts about modules that I personally feel you should be aware of to have a deeper understanding of how modules work. So let's continue our discussion about modules in the upcoming videos as well.